Hello everybody and welcome to Blue Marble Science. You know, Anthony Riley finally got something right. Really? Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out the oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range, and Gladys, let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. <coughs> now normally when we talk about the sleeping warrior, we expect to hear a series of absolutely idiotic remarks, well, like this one. If you're going to claim that gravitational acceleration is simply a velocity, well, a velocity is a scalar, isn't it? No, numbnuts. Velocity is not a scalar. Velocity is a physical vector quantity. The scalar absolute value of velocity is called speed. Anthony, you're an idiot. Are we understanding each other? Huh? You're an idiot! <laughs> Old Sloppy put out a video back in November, which I chose not to respond to. But Mike Bertelson, one of our subscribers, picked up on something that Anthony said. And I think it's really worth uh, paying attention to. In fact, Mike said it pretty well. Let's let him tell you about it. This clip by uh, Anthony Bradley. Now, I had heard this before, and it annoyed the living shit out of me then. And, and it just came up again in, in what I've been reading and watching. So, well, let me play it for you. Let me just play what he says. It's just disproportionately unrealistic to argue that we should have a model. How should we have a model? There's no science for a flat Earth. All of the science is all based around this non bullshit nonsense of heliocentrism. Okay, so... What he says there is very, very telling. See, one of two things is going on here. Either Anthony Riley is completely incompetent and doesn't uh, understand science or know how the scientific method works, or he's an outright fucking liar. Um, let me play it for you again. Just listen carefully. I'm going to stop it at a point here. It's just disproportionately unrealistic to argue that we should have a model. How should we have a model? There's no science for a flat earth. No science for a flat earth. Congratulations, Anthony. You are finally correct about something. There is no science for a flat earth. And you know why? Because the earth isn't flat and there is no science that will work for a flat earth. Still, at some point, you guys are going to have to start coming up with something. Now, I know it's impossible for you to show us a pressure gradient in a sealed pressure vessel. I also know that as mathematically challenged as flat earthers are, you don't stand a chance of showing us any analytical method that we could use in a predictive way for your relative density disequilibrium concept. We'll just leave the hard stuff for last. Start with something easy. Start with this, because we're not going to forget about it. Show us some of your science that explains how this picture is possible if the Earth is flat. Explain how those platforms can be hidden on a flat Earth. That should be simple enough, Anthony. Give it a try. See, he's claiming that heliocentrism... Uh, and the current heliocentric model and the science behind it is somehow keeping him and other flat earthers from having a model. Well, okay, so either, like I said, he's intellectually dishonest liar, or he doesn't understand, one, what a model is, two, what science is, and three, how the scientific method works. So let's cover this really quick. A model. It's nothing but a description of a given physical system or phenomenon or observation, something. That usually includes uh, some predictive component, in, usually in the form of, uh, of equations, that predict how that model is going to operate. Okay, let's take, for instance, relative density. Well, he states that relative density is a force, and that that force is why things fall out of the sky. 
if I were to go up that cliff to drop that 4,000 foot cliff and drop a lawn dart off the top of that cliff, it falls because of relative density. That's his claim. Okay, so how can you make a claim? Well, if you understand what a model is and if you understand what science is and how the scientific method works, then you know that in order to be able to make a claim that something is, you have to have evidence for that claim. You have to have some observation, calculation, or measurement that, in this case, would show that delta rho, the difference in density between the medium and the object, exerts a force and be able to quantify that force, or at least not necessarily start out quantifying the force, but be able to show some evidence that there is a force that comes only from the difference in density between the medium and the object. And then you need to have some observation, calculation, or measurement that shows that the most likely reason things fall out of the sky is due to relative density, to the exclusion of other all other probabilities, in this case, including gravity. That's, that's the goal here that Riley has. So, what did we just say? We just said that in order to be able to make a claim, you have to have demonstrable evidence for that claim. Well, if you have that calculation, observation, or measurement that shows relative density is one, a force, that it exerts a force, and you can show that the force is due to relative density and nothing else, and that two, that relative density is the most likely reason things fall to the exclusion of all other probabilities, then guess what you've also got? The evidence for your claim is also a model, or at least it's the very basis for a model. It's the starting point for a model. So if Riley doesn't have a model for relative density, we'll use that as an example, but flat earth in particular, Relative density is the example we're going to use. If he doesn't have a model for relative density, that is not because the man is keeping him down. It's because he's f***ing incompetent or a f***ing liar. He's either incompetent in that he doesn't understand what science is and how the scientific method works and what a model is, or... He understands those things, and he's fucking lying because he knows he doesn't have the evidence to back up his claims, so he backs out saying, well, I can't have a model because the man won't let me have one. It's just disproportionately unrealistic to argue that we should have a model. How should we have a model? There's no science for a flat earth. There's no science for a flat earth. There's no science for a flat earth. Okay, so here's what I want. I want all of you debunkers out there, globe, all the globe, uh, globe earthers who, just like me, know for a fact the Earth is a globe, know that the heliocentric model is a real thing, need to push this clip and push him on what he said. Does he understand science? in which case he's an intellectually dishonest bastard, or does he not understand science, in which case he is completely incompetent to have this discussion. I want everyone to push this point. I want everyone to make this clip part of their next video. If, if it's not the subject of the next video, uh, I'm asking you guys to put it at the end like I just did for this one. I couldn't agree with you more, Mike. It's time for these guys to fish or cut bait. Please tell us you haven't hung your hat on an egg floating in a glass of salt water or animal flagellants and dandelions to try to explain the earth we live on. <clears throat> All right, so 
I want to hear what else he's going to say, but let's see the other comments. Any citation for those cycles causing gradient? Uh, yeah, the increase in the cause in the... Um, no, I'm not even going to cite it. This is like primary school stuff. Just type in the carbon cycle or the nitrogen cycle or the hydrological cycle, and you'll see that the creation of gases is all at the surface level, be it water or otherwise. Animals farting creates pressure. Us farting, um, all of it creates pressure. And that is the cause of the gradient. It's the creation of gas at surface level caused by a variety of different systems that are dynamic in nature, all mixed up by the sun into a big giant soup. And that big giant soup is the cause of the gradient. Are we understanding each other? Huh? You're an idiot! <laughs> You've got to be able to model this. We've got guys that have tried to put together a physical model of your flat earth and they can't do it. We've got guys who have tried diligently to make the math work out for your relative density nonsense, and they can't do it. Here's a problem. We can model things that aren't real. That happens all the time. Every video game is a model of things that are not real. But here's another truth. If it is real, you have to be able to model it. And if you can't, it simply isn't correct. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Hey Gladys. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We're out of here.